Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm down here at the beautiful Goodwood Racing Circuit. I'm here with Michelin today to tick off another lifelong dream or ambition. I'm hopefully going to leave here today with my racing license. I've always wanted my racing license for as long as I can remember. In fact, way before I actually had my regular license. I mean, who doesn't want to be a racing driver? But hopefully, if I pass and get it today, it will enable me to take part in some future race series, one make series, and do things like go up the Festival of Speed Goodwood Hill Climb. So fingers crossed that I get that and then this adventure can continue. As you probably notice, I have a brand new John Cooper Works Mini behind me. That is what I'm gonna be doing my tests in. It's also got a brand new set of Michelin Pilot Sport 5 tires on it. A tire that I'm asked regularly about on all of my channels and a tire that I haven't yet had the opportunity to drive on. So not only am I gonna to get to try it today, I'm gonna to get to try it today out on the circuit, which would be really fun in this particular Mini. A quick summary of the Pilot Sport 5. So it replaces the Pilot Sport 4, not the Pilot Sport 4S. And I know that's a big confusion on the internet and a question I get asked daily, so just bear that in mind. This PS5 is therefore a high performance road tire predominantly and really good across pretty much all ranges of weather from sunshine to rain but it will be interesting today to push the ps5 to my limits anyway just to see how it performs what it feels like in terms of turning how it performs in terms of grip levels because although it's not a track tire it is a high performance tire and then later on this afternoon if i pass my tests i'm actually going to take out an m240i that's on ps4 s's so hopefully I can then explain the differences between the PS5 and the PS4S on track. This morning, I've already thankfully passed the written part of the yards test. It was really interesting for me. I'd spent the past couple of days doing revision, which I haven't really done since school. And I learned a lot today in our two hour sort of classroom scenario. I've done a lot of track days. I do 10 to 15 every year. And I'm familiar with the, let's say regular flags but in a racing scenario, there's actually 11 different flags. So I had to learn all of those flags exactly. You couldn't get any of those marks wrong. And then we went on to much more safety related stuff in racing scenarios. Because remember, at the end of today, I'm essentially leaving here with a racing license. So tomorrow I could go and line up on a grid and I need to know what to do in certain scenarios. If there's a massive crash in front of me, if I'm part of that crash, if my car decides to go up in flames, a number of reasons and scenarios that you wouldn't necessarily think about on your average track day. So understanding all of that now makes me feel much safer and actually a much better driver on track in a race scenario or just on your typical track day. Now that I've passed my written theory, that enables me to jump in the mini behind me with an instructor and hopefully put everything I've learned into practice out on the track. He'll be watching me closely and making sure I do everything as we've learned in the classroom, nothing dangerous, and then I can get that pass and my racing license. Let's go and find my helmet and jump in the mini. So I react to this light then, yeah? I react to the light rather than him, that's it. Of course, if it involves running him over, best not. There you track here and you can find you can start to build the power from back here the track will come to you without any more steering input we use the whole width of the track out to the exit board a slight lift there yep will do give you weight transfer over the nose of the car okay It'll give you a bit of bike to turn in so if you touch the brake or lift it's not about the speed it's about weight transfer and physics okay now all the way turn in now don't fight the nose in just a little go out and it's naturally back on the line break, oh break, yes break. okay turn in now just let the car ride out try not to flick it over those curbs because it just unbalances the car okay straight line towards the turn concentrate brake 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 turn in you can begin to pick the power up now using the whole width of the circuit it comes back to the false apex here 
across the track and this corner is flat in most things. Yep. Marvellous. Okay, well done. Ease back. If, when you do let somebody buy, best to give a little bit more of a lift. Okay. Just get it over with quickly if yep. you can see it. Now wide, 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 wide. A gentle power, get more, 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 more. You feel the way that just swings yep. through there. Much nicer. Brake hard. If you wish we could go down a gear there, it gets you a bit more punch out of the shoe. Okay, I'll let this guy through. And, uh, again, you're showing awareness of stuff around you, and that's what we're doing here today. Yep. The other thing to do, don't be it's too easy to let somebody buy and then follow their lines, but you know, the sort of sure. their lost could be. Yep. Blend back onto the line. I'll get out. <laughs> um, really good, really interesting. Um, yeah, it all went very well, I think. Um, always learning, picking up tips along the way. Uh, There's a lot of different levels of cars out there, some very fast McLarens, and so it was a bit like a Le Mans situation where you had different classes. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it and uh, I don't think I made too many major mistakes out there. So yeah, so far, so good. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go up the pit lane as before on the left hand side. Yep. As a practice, you're going to react to the light just like you would in a race. Uh, you will then, what I'm going to do is let you kind of just get back in the groove. Yep. Uh, I sh won't really be doing much instruction then, That's we're, we're past that point now. When I feel you're ready, we'll pull back into the pits. One of the chaps there will move that cone because we'll, we'll just go straight along. Yep. From that point on, I'm not going to speak to you anymore, and this isn't anything personal. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, you'll go up to the lights, the yep. lights will go green, you'll react to it, and then from that point on, that's the test situation. If I have to speak to you, touch the steering wheel, apply the brakes, that negates that lap. All you've got to do is two consecutive laps, doing everything you've learnt and being consistent and seeing everything that's going on around you. Okay. And making me feel confident. No problem. So let's go. Excellent. All right. I think I wear glasses because the sun, when it comes out, is pretty piercing. And you look that much cooler. And I look cooler, a bit faster as well. Oh, a little bit of wheel spin. Wheel spin there. Not excessive though, so just remember that you're you don't need to push it to the absolute limit. Yep. Just, you've got plenty of margin in here, speed wise. Slightly took that apex a bit close, but that's the first. Uh, it's quite a cool kick to get really driving a hot lap car, so Absolutely. any help you can give it. He's even thanking you on the passenger yeah. seat. What yeah. a guy. <laughs> that was good. Okay, Joe. Right. Well, I think you're, you're as, you, that was a really good lap. Yep. I think you're as ready as you're ever going to be. So back out of it here. And we're going to go up the pit lane. Okay. And then do the test. Excellent.
that's the end of that session. We can't do any more, but I'm yep. pleased to tell you you've passed. Excellent. So we won't keep that suspense going. <laughs> Generally wind you up. Brilliant. Well done. That was really good. The things we were talking about, well, I'm really pleased that you, know, you were listening kept on it you kept the concentration yep you were excellent with spotting all these cars so going back to the original premise i'd be happy to share a racetrack with you excellent and i don't think you'd kill me oh fantastic so that's congratulations. A, that's brilliant news thank you very much and uh, thanks for being an amazing instructor and observer today it's been really uh, really helpful for me so what you've got to realize is you did it i did it yes but you you, you guided me and 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 uh, have certainly helped me um, learn a lot more racecraft and uh, and just Goodwood itself. It's uh, it's amazing how a circuit that look on a map looks so simple. Yeah. And every time you come here, you learn more and more. Especially from his... tricks to it as you've learned today. So but, maybe the next time you're going around here and something else, you can be all the more impressive. Exactly. Yeah. Hopefully. I've passed. Well, almost passed. First, I need to get Alan to stamp the paperwork. Uh, and then essentially I've got my race license in the beginning of a new adventure. So uh, over to you mate, I guess. Okay. Well done Joe, congratulations. Thank you very much mate, well thank done, you. Well done. So um, Ray has signed off your driving part of the assessment. I've marked your written paper and it's all 100% so nothing to worry about there. Excellent. Um, from the point of view of application form, don't forget now, Passport photo, Yep. emergency contact for you in there. Sure. Okay, and then you do the self-declaration medical part. You will need your eyesight test, uh, and then on the back, print and sign and date it, and you can send it off. I'm gonna stamp this now, just yep. to tell uh, Motorsport UK you're entitled to a race license. Brilliant. Oh yes. Here's the important bit. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, as you've just seen, I've passed my racing license. I've passed my ARDS test, which is really, really cool, really exciting, and will open up, hopefully, a lot of opportunities in the future. I'm now out around the Goodwood circuit in the M240i X-Drive, which is a press car I've been loaned, and this particular car is on the PS4S tire. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to talk about, firstly, how I found the PS5, because I didn't really get a chance to talk about that whilst I was taking my test. I'm sure you guys will understand that. Let's just get around this beautiful Escort that is not going slow. <laughs> so, the PS5 is a PS4 replacement, as we talked about in the intro. And actually it's biggest sort of improvement over the PS4 is longevity. So Michelin say and claim that it will last about 20% longer than the already long lasting PS4. So although I had nothing really to compare the PS5 to this morning because I jumped straight in that Mini and around this circuit and I've never been in a Mini around here, it felt really, really positive and it felt like it had loads of grip and it didn't overheat. So for a tire that isn't claiming to be a track tire, um, I was really impressed with it. Jumping into this car on the full fat PS4S tire, well, <laughs> I've only done a couple of laps and let me tell you, firstly, this car is a lot more capable than I thought it would be out here. And secondly, these tires, well, they just feel mega. And what I mean by mega is, they just feel like they've got a lot more support compared to the five. Well, they deal with high temperatures better. I was talking to one of the tech guys earlier on who was explaining the difference between PS4 or PS5 and the PS4S in terms of the actual rubber that's on the tread pattern. And the outside blocks are harder to deal with temperature and higher loads a lot better because obviously it's the outside tread blocks on track especially that really get punishment going around hit here this right hand 115 miles an hour yeah they're dealing with a lot of load a lot of temperature and so that's one of the big differences between the s and the sort of non s if you like in fact the brakes <laughs> the brakes are starting to <laughs> 
go a little bit. I'm getting a bit of a longer pedal, so way before the tires start crying enough, the brakes are feeling a little bit mushy. The tires, well, I haven't even heard a squeal yet. I've got everything switched off. And although this is X drive, I was expecting to hear a bit more tire squeal, but maybe I'm just not trying hard enough. But when your brakes start going a bit long, <laughs> your confidence drops a little bit, especially here. I mean, that's well over 140 miles an hour. Yeah, that brake pedal is going a long way. <laughs> so I think we'll back it down a little bit now and just sort of summarize today what we've done, what we've been up to. Well, it's been a fantastic day, full of emotions. Um, I've done so much. Uh, I've achieved yet another sort of lifelong ambition. And yeah, I'm really, really happy with how today's gone. I've also learned a lot uh, it's a bit like going to a driver awareness course. Not that I've been to any of them, of course. I have actually been to one. Um, and it really taught me a lot. It taught me bad habits that I've got into over many years of, you know, passing my driving license and sort of reinstated some things that I'd forgotten about. And today was kind of like that in terms of track day etiquette, but also going much, much further teaching us about racing, teaching us about all those flags, many of which I'd never seen before, and everything else. So it's been an awesome day. Massive thanks to Michelin for yet again ticking off a dream box of mine. And I've learned a fair amount about the PS5 tire, although I need to try one on road next because that's predominantly what it's for. So hopefully I can get hold of a hot hatch or something that has a PS5 tire on it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I've had an awesome time today. I've got my racing license now and I've tried Michelin's brand new Pilot Sport 5. Stay tuned for another video coming very soon. Until then, take it easy.